Welcome into episode number 194 of The Voice Behind a Voice. I'm Sean Aronson, the TV and radio broadcaster for the St. Paul Saints, an independent minor league baseball team in the Twin Cities. For the last few days, I've been thinking about this intro and wondering what I could say, what I should say. You know by now that the, uh, the country, the world is dealing with a pandemic and on a much smaller and insignificant scale to be very honest with you the sports world has come to an absolute screeching halt and I thought about well what do I do with this podcast in in this time where a lot of people need entertainment maybe they need some things to take their their mind off of exactly what is going on And the bottom line when it comes to this podcast is I have this episode here this week and I've got two other episodes in the can. One of them is being held for episode 200. With this being 194, I'm still a few weeks away from that happening. But the other issue is with the sports world at a complete halt right now, I can't do this podcast the way I want to which is to say, sit in front of these broadcasters face-to-face and do these chats. Uh, You've heard me say it a number of times over the past four years that I refuse to compromise this podcast. I refuse to do it over the phone. I refuse to do it over Skype, uh, FaceTime, whatever it is. I refuse to do that because the conversations are not as genuine. They aren't as personable. And I know that the times at this moment have changed, but I refuse to change this podcast and what it has stood for over the last four years. Um, So before we get into what's going to happen going forward, I just want to say this. None of us know when and if we get back to normal. And I, I get it that there are a lot of different types of people that listen to this podcast we all come from different backgrounds. Uh, we we root for different teams. We have different thought processes and, and different ideas. And I'm sure that in the people that are listening to this right now, we have people that run the gamut on how worried they are, uh, whether they're not worried at all to those people that are, uh, you know, extremely panicked right now. All I want to say to you is, however you're feeling it's okay to feel that way and allow those people in your life to be there for you uh, and take care of each other. Uh, You have to remember that we're all going through this together. We all are, whether it's your immediate family or your friends or people in your community or people that you don't even know. And so we all need to be in this together and help one another. I was talking to my mom Uh, just last night. And I, to be very honest with you, forget that she is quote unquote, a senior citizen. My mother is 68 years old and I don't view her that way. And she was telling me about going to the grocery store and not being able to get the essentials, which everybody can, can understand right now. And she says, I'm in that group right now as a senior citizen that they say, I'm at the most risk right now of anybody. I, I am at the highest risk and they keep telling senior citizens they have to stay home but how can I stay home if I can't get the essentials where I'm you know going to the grocery store and that that really hit me hard because you're right it is because people out there are buying so many you know packages of toilet paper or so much soap or food for the next year that that is one of the reasons why your parents, your grandparents can't get the essentials that they need. So all I tell you is be smart. Think of everybody else that when we get through this as a collective whole, that we will all be able to go on with our lives, but probably be a little bit more cognizant of those around us. And, and I promise you at some point that we will be able to look back on this and realize that we grew stronger together. Sports will eventually go on. When that happens, 
I don't know, you don't know, and the sports community does not know. For this week, we will have a new episode. Going forward, uh, we will have some repeat episodes. But what I don't want to do is release 10 weeks of repeat episodes. So at some point, I may make the decision to go dark on this podcast, right? You can go back and listen to any of the previous 193 episodes. But for at least the next week or two, if nothing else, to be able to do these opens and then give you a repeat episode, I will do that. Um, but again, at some point, I may make the decision to, to halt this and pick back up uh, when the sports world gets back uh, to somewhat normalcy. Um, but right now, that, that does seem insignificant. So to my guest this week, which is John Fokey of the Charlotte Hornets, I apologize because this is not the intro you want into uh, a sit-down chat, um, but I think he understands it. Obviously, being in the NBA, he, he's, he was right there uh, when it all happened and they shut down the NBA. They were the first sport, uh, sporting event to, to shut down. John is someone that I actually knew. His brother is the head coach of the Hamlin women's basketball team, the basketball team that uh, I broadcast for here locally. Uh, so I'd met John before, just an extremely nice guy. We sat down at the hotel that the team was staying at. This was a few weeks ago. And we talk about his time in Minnesota. We talk about his brother. Uh, we talk about the the marathons he's run, the ultra marathons that he has run. Uh, and, and, and again, some very interesting stories and fun stories that, that he has talked about. If you have not subscribed to this podcast, you can do so wherever you get your podcasts. Share it. Let your friends know. Uh, look, people are going to be quarantined. People are going to be sitting around. They're going to be looking for some sort of entertainment. Recommend this to your friends if they're looking for something to listen to. Uh, this is the perfect podcast. And you can always send us messages. Look, if you're just sitting around, if you're clamoring to talk to someone, if you just want to discuss sports, whatever it is, at The Voice BTV on Twitter, Facebook, facebook.com backslash The Voice BTV. And you can always email me, The Voice BTV at gmail.com. But for this week, let's get to our last new episode for probably a while. It is episode number 194 with John Fokey of the Charlotte Hornets. JW, stay safe, be healthy, my friend. Roll the open. I don't know if you've been to the Spear Hiking Trail, but when you get further up north, there's these like white rocks in the in the terrain, and I don't know glacial rock, something like that. I'm sure there's a scientific meaning behind it. But as it got dark the second night, it's deflating. You know, you're like, holy cow! Like we got to pull our headlamps out again, and <laughs> your headlamps shining on these rocks, and they're just so bright white. And in my mind, what I said made exact sense. I said, why are there so many bags of flour out here on this trail?